Malaria causes over a million deaths in um, children in sub-Saharan Africa, mostly in very young children over the, under the age of about five. And for many years, people thought that what the children died of was what's called cerebral edema, which is a problem of brain swelling. And because people were concerned that the brain was swollen, it was often treated by restricting the amount of fluids that children received. We conducted a series of studies in collaboration with the Wellcome Trust Tropical Research Unit in Kalifi, Kenya, and through an Imperial College senior lectureship for Catherine Maitland, who's based in the Department of Pediatrics but works in Kalifi, Kenya, to investigate what sort of fluids children critically ill with severe malaria require. And our pilot studies showed that if children were resuscitated with solutions which contained albumin, they had a very much reduced mortality. The areas of uh, research um, that um, my group is uh, involved in um, is quite broadly based in the general field of life-threatening infection in children. In general, we aim to use molecular and immunological methods and genetic methods to understand the life-threatening childhood infections, particularly we've worked on meningococcal disease, tuberculosis and severe malaria, but also on an unusual disease called Kawasaki disease, which is also an important cause of severe illness in children. I think one of the most important aims of the Wellcome Trust Center for Clinical Tropical Medicine is to link the tremendous expertise there is at Imperial College in the basic sciences, in molecular biology, immunology, infectious diseases, to the real problems facing uh, people living in developing countries. Um, my group's work and the group of the uh, work of the paediatric department fits absolutely within this. We believe that the tremendous scientific expertise available at Imperial College needs to be applied to the problems of the developing world. And what the Wellcome Trust Centre has helped to facilitate is the means of linking the research expertise we have in the developed world with the problems of the less developed world.